Hi, my name is Ricardo Böhme and I am working as an application engineer for our flow measurement products here at SIG. Today we would like to have a closer look about the installation of external pressure and temperature transmitters of our gas flow meter FlowSIG 500. The FlowSIG 500 consists of several measuring ports for installing external temperature and pressure transmitters. They will be used to have the actual temperature and pressure available for volume conversion. The port for installing the external pressure transmitter is marked on the adapter of the FlowSig 500 with a sign PM. Please also pay attention to the flow direction which is marked with an arrow on the adapter as well. Furthermore, please keep in mind that you can only exchange or install external pressure and temperature transmitters while the parameter locking switch is open. Please keep in mind that you have enough clearance around the FlowSig 500 when it comes to assembly. For instance, when you would like to install or to exchange external pressure and temperature transmitters. So let's start by installing the external pressure sensor. There are three options available to install the external pressure sensor. One way will be without any test valve in use. The second option will be to use a three-way test valve and the third option will be to use a BDA-04 test valve. The main benefit of using a test valve is to test and calibrate the external pressure sensor also while it is installed and under operation. In our case we would like to show you the installation of the pressure sensor without any test valve. Therefore we will remove the dummy plug at the position of the external pressure sensor which is marked on the adapter with the sign PM. If necessary and your meter has got an NPT 1 quarter inch thread type, you will require an adapter to change the thread type to G 1 quarter inch. Please keep in mind to wrap around the threads PDFE tape to ensure proper tightness. After that, you can start to screw in the external pressure sensor to his intended position. Next step will be to install the external temperature sensor. Therefore, we are recommending to use the measuring port right in front of the display. The temperature sensor can be greased with heat conductive oil or paste to improve its performance. You need to remove the dummy plug from the measuring port. After that, you can install the immersion sleeve for the temperature sensor. Please keep in mind, you can also wrap around PDFE tape to ensure proper tightness to the immersion sleeve. Then you can insert the temperature sensor into the immersion sleeve on the top. Tightening the lock nut. If necessary, you can have a wire seal attached by a calibration inspector to the temperature and the pressure transmitter. Now it's time to mount the plug-in connector cover. Therefore, guide the sensor plugs through the openings of the plug-in connector cover to their intended positions. Subsequently, Push the plug-in connector cover over the plugs and fastening them with the capstan screws. We have reached the end of our video. I would like to thank you for your attention. If you have any open questions, please feel free to get in touch with your local SIG subsidiary. Please also refer to our manuals and operating instructions. Thank you for choosing SIG and stay healthy. See you next time.